does delay the farm a little bit by the clockwork, but you can see that the keeper of the light is trying very his very best to pull creeps. He's making sure that the clockwork does get the first couple of levels. And they're doing nicely in the mid lane. We do have okay, Ember Spirit going very deep for dive. But he does get a first spot on the Shadow Fiend. Does lose his life for it. But still, you know, a one for one. Just will not be allowing it to move away. So Luke is trying to get this farm for himself, I'm sure. You know, just a little bit of farm. In the meantime, they need to keep this guy alive. He is just reading it up as much as he can. One of the spins does not hit on the box. They will be able to get the kill though as the Juggernaut. Even though the armor slash didn't hit as much as he wanted to, he did still get enough damage off to secure the kill with the spin. Now the Shadow Fiend is being run down by the Clover. He will turn the other way. Oh, that Illuminate Blast did so much damage. Grace is not going to be enough. They will take away the healing ward with the Keeper of the Light in the meantime. So the Ember Spirit gets lost in the Cox as well. Mikey takes a lot of damage and he will be taken down as this Clover will be able to just, you know, ping, 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 ping him down slowly. Fire Remnant, but he should be able to get this kill onto Jabs. He will walk himself away in the meantime. Duel comes out though from the Legion Commander. They will go in. They want the kill. They will not be able to win the duel, but they will be able to get it. You know, he's having a good time doing that. The Juggernaut is not having that much fun this game. Uh, it's just from the spam, you know, he, he is losing so much net, net worth just because of the spam. The Hookshot comes out, doesn't hit onto the Juggernaut though. The Juggernaut is going to be the target either way though. He does not have a TP available. They will go out, they will block him, they will find him. The Fisher hits. And the Juggernaut should be taken down as indeed he will be dropped. Jack will be the next one. Disruption comes out. We'll buy him a couple of seconds. But a couple of seconds is everything that he gains. As in the end he does lose his life. And that is two dead. On the side of going in they will lose it. Terrifying as the Illuminate Blast comes out. Does it hit? Yes it does. Oh but he barely survives. Oh does he though. As here comes Foxy. Double Remnant. One kill. Searing Chains. Doesn't hit on to the Shadow Demon though. He will have just moving himself about up and down. Not really too sure where to go though. The Ember Spirit, oh, they go for it. The Hookshot comes out. They did have the vision with this ward scouting out the Ember Spirits or what's got scouting out the Legion Commander's movements. So they saw they saw him. And now looks like we may finally have a jump on the side of Evil Corporation going in. They're smoked up, they're ready to go. They do have everything available. They go in, they're gonna jump on the air shaker. That's one of the important ones. They get the duel off as well. They get the kill. The car work is the keep of the light. 1500 gold to go for his Akinim Scepter, so it is com going to come online at a decent pace this game. In the meantime, the Urshaker is looking for a good kill. Can they kill this drop? They go for the burst, they go for the combo, they get it off. And the Juggernaut will drop down to the might of the Urshaker. One, but he does a lot of damage and he should be able to get this kill. In the meantime, oh, they try, he tries, he tries so much, man. He gets the hook shot, he gets the cock block as well, but it's just too little, too late. He's not having enough HP to survive. They use the clock, the clock, they take him into position, disruption comes out in the meantime, Sada goes in, gets a jump, they get on the side off as well, the Urshika will be taken down, that's a deal victory too, Mikey, as that's one, the clockwork will be the second one, the Shadow Fiend is still alive, and those right in the back lines is a little bit in trouble, he can't get away from this area, he's stuck here, he's not moving anywhere, no remnants available, he will slowly be falling, as the Legion Commander will die, but they get the kill on the Ember Spirit, and he doesn't care. He wanted to make sure they got the kill before the next Remnant was available. So, 3 for 1 trade off could potentially react with a BKB. In the meantime, though, both teams, you know, they found each other, but it's about taking the fight and actually winning it. Oh, Jowly goes in, he tries to get the combo off onto the Jug. It's a little bit too late, he doesn't get the stun effect off. In the meantime though, DNC moves in, doesn't get the stun off. Both teams are just missing spells left, right and center. As I guess, well, no echo slam though, so going in, they should feel very comfortable pushing. While I say that though, the Juggernaut drops so goddamn low, Chola will be focused on though, he will be taken down, the Clockwork went in with the hook, where did he go though, he went in the back lines, he will be dueled up now by the Legion Commander, will be taken down 2 for 2 trade off so far, the Juggernaut lost his life, Nox is fighting against Blaze Malala's Shadow Feed, will he bring him down, he will, as he survives, he armor toggles and he is not dropping dead just yet, very big kill, DNC goes in though, gets a crush, gets a kill, the armor toggle was just not enough to keep him alive this time around. Slada will walk himself away. And, well, back lines. Mikey will drop down as the Ember Spirit does find the kill. No buybacks, no nothing. Just a 3 for 4 trade off. 
as both teams they did a lot of damage to each other just need a little bit extra like they need a couple of right clicks for the shadow fiend or something on top of that then you should be able to get a kill in the meantime in the middle lane we do have the embers we're trying to get a kill on jabs he should be able to finish him off he does get the searing chains it will have, what's it called slide a fist off and he does take him down back himself up and everything will be fine that going in just like constantly setting these out on scouting missions Mikey did run past a little Sinfi plus Observer was so they did know this is happening oh he goes in he gets a hook shot off onto the slaughter the slaughter will be controlled in the meantime he will be hit by fish as well and he will be taken down as Nox will get the kill with that infest bomb so they get one little pick off we get to kill the Shadow Fiend, but forcing out the PKB, that is a small win on its own. In the meantime, Evil Corporation, they will go in for the Roshan. Okay, Box needs to be careful as he ended up tanking this thing. They do not want to lose this guy. Oh, and he will be taken down by Ings into the leftover Omni Slash, and he will be taken down. Bonus kill to the side of going in as they get two with that Omni pick off, then maybe secure the next Roshan, unless they get a big pick off, then they can try and uh, poke for buybacks, they go in the mid lane, they try to get this kill, and that is a duel coming out on the Ember Spirit, he's dead for 80 seconds, no buyback, evil corporation, what have you done, that's the Ember Spirit, he was the target, and he was found and murdered, Work. they need to go for a very big pop, but they're not letting them do it, it will be the Shadow Fiend, the only one moving anywhere near that high ground. They do have that disruption available in 5 seconds, defense on leave, but it's not going to be in time. As the only goes in here, but gets a big jump as well, as it will pop the thought instantly, they will back themselves up. That is the jump they're looking for, pop, force the BKB, try and buy some time, get a quick kill. If they can survive this, they may be able to keep the racks alive. Nox needs to get that trying to heal off though, he will survive. He will continue finding the duel comes out though. The Legion Commander reflects so much damage onto the life still as he will be killed by himself more or less. Flyback comes out from the Urshik as well as the Light Still instantly. The Rain Tracks have been taken down. The Shadow Fiend is working on the Metarax as well. He wants to take them down as fast as possible. He will have to back himself up. He is stuck a little bit. The Disruption comes out. We'll keep him safe for a couple of seconds. He does have that Satanic Heal. He already popped it though. He needs to move himself away. He gets, con he gets controlled by the Light Still. Looks like this is a dead Shadow Fiend as well as the Shadow Demon has already been taken down. Dead Shadow Fiend indeed. The Jonah will try and move himself away. He will be able to blink away. The Legion is now the one being chased. The Ember comes back in. Double rem, triple remnant, and he gets a double kill on these two heroes. We can do. The next golem will be sent in, in the meantime. <laughs> More golems. More golems. Alright, let's see. Bottom lane, we do have Evil Corporation ready to go for a jump. They're just taking down. They're going greedy. They want to go for the bottom racks as well. This could be Mega Creeps. And the PS Retail will fall very fast. Ember Spirit tries his very best to stop this from happening, but who can initiate? The Clockwork goes in from the back, tries to focus on the Shadow Demon. We do have a purge. Mikey tries to go in, will survive, he's still living, still breathing, spin comes out from the Jonah, in the meantime he doesn't have a target for his Omni Slash just yet though, the Shadow Fiend will pop his BKB, will pop his, um, his Satanic as well, he will man fight the Lifestyle, the Lifestyle will be taken down, no buyback available, buyback comes out from the Clockwork, in the meantime Evil Corporation, they want to fight back, they want to keep their racks alive, the Shadow Fiend is still just hitting them like nothing ever happened, the Melee Racks will be taken down, range racks next to follow, that is Mega Creeps.